Okay, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to create a, a tutorial or uh, I will try to discuss testing and commissioning or DMS testing and commissioning. Okay, because I have one subscriber and he was asking, please do some uh, scope or discuss something about BMS testing and commissioning. Okay. So guys, what I have here is my screen. Okay, sorry for that uh, background. Sorry for the background. Okay, guys, anyway, uh, what I have here is my testing and commissioning. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, guys, so as I said, what I'm going to do is try to discuss uh, DMS testing and commissioning. Okay, as I said, one of the subscribers was asking, can you make a discussion about uh, BMS testing and commissioning? Okay. Now, uh, this testing and commissioning, guys, usually it will happen during at the later part of the project. Okay. Now, you cannot do testing and commissioning unless you finish most of the work involved in the BMS project. Okay. Now, for testing and commissioning, uh, the one involved in testing commissioning are the consultants, okay? Spe specifically the consultant that is checking the uh, PMS, okay? Now, uh, it could be the mechanical or the electrical. It depends. Uh, most of my project, uh, the mechanical and the electrical are the one doing the uh, testing and commissioning, the consultant, the electrical or the mechanical consultant, okay? So before you can do the testing and commissioning, first you have to know exactly what is the level of the consultant. Because uh, actually, uh, I have an experience in Dubai that the consultant that will check the TNC is not very familiar with building management system. Okay, he was telling me, I don't know anything about building management system. How I'm going to do it? You have to prepare a method of statement, something like that. Okay. So I need to prepare a method of statement for all the HVAC equipment, electrical equipment. Sorry for that one. I was not doing my video outside, okay? So there will be some, I don't know, this uh, background sound, okay? So what I'm trying to say is that consultant, he told me uh, beforehand that he, he don't have any idea about the management system. So I am forced to prepare a method of statement for testing and commissioning. So a method of statement is something like you will prepare a narrative, let's say, okay, for air handling unit. This will be the method of statement in doing the testing and commissioning. So you will do a step-by-step -step procedure. Of course, you will start with your uh, graphics. Okay, so you can uh, create a screenshot of the graphics and try to explain in that method of statement, how do you intend to give the testing and commissioning, okay? Of course, uh, you will start with your DMS graphics showing all the control and monitoring points, okay? Now, as I said, this control and monitoring points like this something here, okay? This one should be involved or part of the DMS data point schedule, okay? So I have been here. Okay, then you will, you will show also some of the monitoring points like the temperature, the run hour, so on. Okay, so you have to prepare something like that. Okay, then you will go to the control panel. Okay, so of course, let's say an air handling unit, it has a control panel. Okay, so when there is a control panel, you will show them, okay, the control and monitoring points in the control panel, the run status. Selector switch, if it is in manual, in auto, okay. So prepare some uh, a method of statement. You will say, if I will put the selector switch in auto position, what will be the display in my DMS? Okay. So you will ask someone, okay, okay, put the control panel. Of course, you are sitting in a, you will be sitting in the BMS workstation and someone in the field will be assisting you. Okay, you will tell him, okay, uh, Mr. Technician, put the control panel in automatic. Then he will check. Okay, so based on the method of statement, if the selector switch is in auto position, this will be the display in my graphics. Okay, if the display, something like this, it will go to auto. If it is in manual, then it will go to manual. Okay, so the, the data being displayed in your graphics should be real time. 
if someone put it in in manual then this displayed information should uh, change to manual okay so those are the things that you need to prepare for consultant that has no idea about the demand system but most of the time during my uh, testing and commissioning the consultants are very uh, i mean they have a good knowledge about the management system, especially the mechanical people. They know exactly how this chilled water system works or how an air handling system works, okay? But before doing the testing and commissioning, you need to, uh, uh, you need to prepare the graphics and it should be approved by the consultant, okay? So the BMS graphics should be, uh, should be approved by the consultant, okay? So that is one of the, most important thing that you need to accomplish. Then you have to write the control logic program based on the approved sequence of operation. Okay, so uh, you will check from the mechanical uh, specification the uh, sequence of operation for a specific equipment, let's say air aluminum. Okay, so based on that approved sequence of operation, you will write your control logic program. Okay, let's say during the testing and commissioning time. So the, the consultant will be sitting uh, with you when you are trying to explain this system. Let's say this air cold system, air cold chillers. Okay, so he will try to tell you. Uh, he will try to tell you. Okay, can you try to trip? Let's say you will try to trip the pump. Okay, then it should display here. Okay, so you will ask someone there. Okay, can you try to? Treat the pump by uh, activating the treat test in the overload relay of the pump. Then the, dis the alarm should be displayed. Okay, if you have here, if you have created the alarm points, then it should be displayed here. Okay, then the alarm should pop up in your BMS workstation. So what is exactly happening in the field should be reflected in the BMS workstation. So that is testing and commissioning. Now, before you can do testing and commissioning, first, you should do an internal checking of the system, okay? So you have to gather all the engineers involved in the system. Let's say if it's an air handling unit, you have to ask the mechanical people and the electrical guy and you, of course, as BMS engineer, to test the equipment. Uh, first, it should be tested in manual operation. Okay? So if it is working fine in manual operation, let's say you run the pumps and the chillers in manual, then it's working fine, then you will be able to see some of the information here, then it's okay. Now, uh, after testing, successfully testing the equipment internally, then that's the only time you will uh, write a letter to the consultant that you will uh, you will try to have the testing commissioning for this equipment. Okay. Now, actually, uh, the testing and commissioning uh, invite to the consultant will be done by the QA engineers. Okay. So the QA engineers will be the one to notify the consultant. You will be the one to uh, invite the consultant to do the testing and commissioning, okay? So that is the scope in testing and commissioning. First, let me wrap it, wrap it up. First, the system that needs to be tested should be ready, okay? So first do the internal checking with your MEP guys, okay? So you have to check it thoroughly and you as a BMS engineer, you have to check all the uh, control and monitoring points that you are displaying in your graphics, okay? So all the points, temperature, uh, the status, okay? Now you have to check it. Man, uh, first, you should be happy first with your system before inviting the consultant, okay? Because if not, there will be a lot of uh, comments. And make sure the control logic program uploaded to the controller is based on the approved sequence of operation. So you should have all these documents in your hand. The approved material submittals, then the approved sequence of operation, 
then the approved graph is so that the consultant that will be sitting with you will not ask for anything. If he will ask something, okay, this is the approved material submittance, this is the approved graphics, now this is the approved sequence of operation. So you will show him, let's say you can, if your program, controlology program, can stop the equipment, stop it. Then you will, you will display or you will explain to the consultant what will happen or what is expected to happen if you shut down the equipment. Okay. So all the status should reflect the proper status in the site uh, real time, okay? Then when you start the equipment, then you have to show him the sequence, okay? Based on your control of the program, okay? If it's an error in unit, okay, first I need to open if there are some dumpers, it will open first, then you have to show him the status in the graphics. Then after some time delay, the fund will start, then after some time delay, there will be airflow status there. Then after some time delay, then the valve will try to open based on the set point. Okay, so this is the work of a BMS engineer during testing and commissioning. Again, you will be the one in charge in the testing and commissioning. So you should be very uh, well acquainted with the system, mechanically and electrically. Then you should be prepared to answer whatever question the consultant will throw to you, okay? So you can always answer it if you are familiar with what you are doing, okay? So guys, uh, I hope I have given you already what is testing and commissioning, the MS testing and commissioning, okay? Now, of course, there will be form. So the QA engineer will try to prepare the form for the testing and commissioning, okay? Then if everything is okay, then it should be signed by the consultant, okay? Then if there are some comments, then it will be uh, after uh, you rectify the comments, then again, you will be invite the consultant for checking that specific comment. He should not check again entirely the system. He will just check the comments he raised from the previous PNC. So you don't need to explain to him or start from the very beginning again, okay? Only go to the uh, specific comments raised from the previous one, okay? So guys, uh, this is the testing and commissioning uh, role of the BMS engineer, okay? So I hope I have given you already an idea, Mr. Uh, the guy who have, this, uh, who have requested this uh, uh, video, okay? So guys, thank you once again. Uh, Santos Capital Jr. will always end the tutorial by saying, God bless us all and bye for now.